What is up guys, my name is Snazbot and in today's tutorial I'm going to be running you through how to build this small birch house. To start off with we're going to be using the quartz pillar block and laying out the four basic corners of our house with five blocks in between. Then we'll raise the pillars to be four blocks high. For the walls we'll be using birch and we'll be going one block inwards from the quartz pillars, placing the birch slabs in a 5x5 five five square. The walls will also be four blocks tall, the same as the quartz pillars. Next choose one wall and on either side of the middle block place a cobblestone block and one in front of the middle block so it forms a triangle like here. Then the same as the walls, bring this up to four blocks in height. Now we've set out the basic shape of our walls, we're going to move on to the roof. Using jungle wood slab, we're going to make a 7x7 square on top of these quartz pillars. Then, we're going to make another square of jungle wood slab on top of the already existing birch walls. Now on the outside of the roof, we're going to be placing three slabs coming out from the corner blocks, but leaving a one block gap in the middle of the walls, and also leaving a gap where the block in the corner should be, like so. Leaving this block gap will give our roof a sort of a rounded look rather than a completely square look on top. Next, on the half slab block above, we're going to be doing a similar thing again. This time making it two blocks wide and also leaving a gap in the corners. We'll repeat this on all four sides like so. Then, join each of these corners together with another one block slab on the inside row like you see here. For the next step up again, we're going to be building a 3x3 three three diamond shape. Final step up in the roof is to place the slabs in a cross shape. The roof in total now rises two blocks high from the walls. The roof isn't done yet however as we need to add some awning underneath. We do this by adding a slab either side of the top of the quartz pillars. Then adding two upside down jungle stairs to the outside of the top of the quartz pillars. This is repeated on all four sides. Now we can start decorating the walls. We're going to start with the front door. The front door is located on the side of the house that is to the left of the chimney. To start the front door, we'll place two quartz blocks either side of the centre block in this wall and bring them up to a height of two blocks. There is a small roof above the door which is made out of jungle slabs. Like This roof is made out of a line of slabs five blocks wide and then a line of slabs three blocks in front with another three slabs then one slab on top. Moving to the left again, we'll now do a side panel. One block either side of the middle of this wall, place dark oak stairs on the fourth and first block. These will act as the window sills. Then, break the two blocks in between and add dark oak fences to act as a sort of window bars. On the back wall, we're going to be building a larger window. We start this by adding three dark oak stairs along the bottom three middle blocks as well as the two blocks either side of the top block. Fill the middle top block with a dark oak slab to complete the windowsill. Connect the top and bottom windowsill at the sides with dark oak fence, then break the middle two blocks and add in glass panes. It sounds strange to be doing this so late in the build, but we're now going to finish off the foundation level of the build by placing stone bricks on the outer faces of all the bottom blocks in the quartz pillars. Once this is completed on all four pillars, we will be placing a stone brick stair on top of the stone brick block so that it angles in towards the pillars like so. Now we're going to be adding some final detailing to the walls by adding shelves which we will sit pot plants on. You can choose any plant you would like, whether it be sapling or flower to put in these pots, but in this case I'm using birch sapling. We're now going to finish off the chimney by raising it through the roof another two blocks high and competing a plus shape at the top. Then raise another two blocks high in the middle, placing stairs around this middle block in differing orientations to complete the final shape of the chimney, then placing pot plants on top to act as if they are openings for the chimney. Finally we're going to be building a small skylight window in the top of the roof coming out two blocks forward from the centre over the top of the doorway with jungle wood stairs either side and a jungle wood slab on top with a window pane completing the window. So that's going to be it for this build guys. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to build this small birch house. It's a bit different to the normal medieval styles but I thought it would be interesting to try a shape that it's not as common. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next video.